All right, Rebecca, thank you. For the second time in as many days, a top member of President Trump's cabinet visiting Wisconsin. As Tony Atkins shows us, Democrats say the Secretary of State's stop in Madison was nothing more than a campaign stop masquerading as official business. It was an unprecedented visit here at the state capitol. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo speaking with legislators just six weeks away from the presidential election. Would you please join me now in a warm welcome to Secretary of State Mike Pompeo. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo speaking in Wisconsin's Senate chamber to an audience of Republican lawmakers and guests. Uh, it took us a little while to put this all together with all that's going on. Pompeo used the opportunity to criticize China and warned those listening about attempts by the Chinese to influence state and local governments. He cited an email from China's consulate in Chicago to Senate President Roger Roth urging him to pass a resolution praising China's response to COVID-19. Roger didn't take the bait. Instead, uh, Roger presented a resolution stating that the Communist Party of China deliberately and intentionally misled the world. Senate Minority Leader Chris Larson called Pompeo's visit a campaign speech disguised as a foreign policy address. And I think it's 100 percent because uh, we are a swing state. Larson says such a speech given under the guise of national business should have never been allowed. Not only is it is it discouraging to see our Senate chamber used as a prop in a national campaign, uh, I think it's also illegal. Pompeo insisted his Wisconsin stop was simply for diplomatic reasons, a sentiment echoed by Senator Roth. And this was an official state visit where he was coming to listen directly with lawmakers. A historic address just six weeks out from a historic election. Reporting in Madison, Tony Atkins, TMJ4 News.